Welcome to this tutorial on billing evaluation and management codes 99202 through 99215. This is a three-part series that will cover the basics of the 2021 changes. The information given in this training is correct as of today. The most current information contained in this presentation can be found on the Noridian Medicare website and the CMS website at the links listed on this slide. A little history of the changes. Prior to 2021, evaluation and management coding guidelines were last updated in 1997. The last time the evaluation and management section was updated was in 2010 regarding consultation codes. Providers have long been voicing concerns over how much time it takes to complete the required documentation and that they were not able to spend as much time with patients due to the burdensome paperwork expectations. CMS and the AMA listened and wanted to streamline the regulations. Their intent was to increase provider time with patients and follow the initiative Patients Over Paperwork, which was designed to decrease provider and administrative burden and improve payment accuracy. An update to the Office and Outpatient e &M Visit Code sets is reflected in the 2021 guidelines to meet the needs of the current practice of medicine. Additional guidelines were included in the 2023 ENM guideline updates that are used for all ENM services. Prior to 2021, all ENM guidelines were distinguished by complexity, site of service, established or new patient, and included three components history of present illness, physical exam, and medical decision making. Providers use the 1995 or 1997 guidelines for selecting the proper code. Here are things you should know about the 2021 coding guidelines. Changes only applied to office or other outpatient codes 99202 through 99215. Code 99201 was removed as the medical decision making was the same as 99202. The guidelines did not apply to any other ENM services, such as hospital, emergency room, or nursing facility codes. These now fall under the 2023 guidelines. History and exam elements are no longer a required element for code selection. However, the documentation for the history and exam are still required. Coding can be based on either medical decision making or time based with new times for each ENM code. Time based now represents total provider time spent on a patient on that date of service. The medical decision making and the table of risk have been revised, including removal of ambiguous terms such as mild and defined previous ambiguous concepts, acute or chronic illness with systemic symptoms. The revisions also defined important terms such as independent historian. For 99202 through 99215, office or other outpatient services, documentation must include a medically appropriate history and or physical examination when performed. The nature and extent of the history and or physical examination is determined by the treating physician or other qualified healthcare professional reporting the service. The care team may collect information. The patient or caregiver may also supply information directly, such as through a portal or questionnaire. This must be reviewed by the reporting physician or other qualified healthcare professional. The extent of the history in physical examination is not an element in selecting the level of office or other outpatient service. There is still a need to determine what has been happening with the patient since the last encounter and perform an exam that is appropriate for the presenting problem or monitoring the patient's conditions. Chief complaint continues to be a component of the history. The change is that providers are not required to re-enter information documented by residents and the medical team or ancillary staff. The provider will need to indicate they review the information and document any changes or additional information regarding the encounter. The resource for this guidance can be found in the CMS resource section coming up in a few slides. 
levels of office or outpatient e &M, both new and established codes, will now be based on the level of medical decision-making definitions that have been established to assist in these changes. Providers will also have the choice of using total time spent by a provider on the day of the visit, including face-to-face, -face, and any non-face-to-face -face time. The total time may include reviewing records or discussing treatment with other providers when performed on the same day as the encounter. The CPT code 99211 is still available. The code does not have a time reference as it previously indicated five minutes prior to 2021. 99201 was deleted at the end of 2020. 99201 included straightforward medical decision-making level, which is the same as 99202. Since history and examination will not be used in determining the code selection, 99201 was no longer needed. Here is an example of how the code descriptor changes were made by removing requirements in the code description starting in 2021. CMS preserved the medically appropriate history and or exam and changed typical time to total time spent. All the evaluation and management codes in this set of 99202 through 99215 have been updated in this manner. Time has been established for this code set to be met or exceeded when counting total time spent on the date of the encounter. In 2024, the range of time was replaced with an indicated number of minutes. The next slides provide helpful and informative resources from the AMA, or American Medical Association, and CMS. Starting on this slide are a couple resources to review the CMS guidance for e &M services. This slide provides AMA resources and the e &M guidelines adopted by both the AMA and CMS. The first link is for the AMA 2023 guidelines that includes the medical decision-making table, and the second link is for AMA's summary of the e &M revisions. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our tutorial. Continue your learning experience by referring to additional recordings available on the Noridian website or YouTube channel.